shit, and they try to set me up. You know what I mean? But I escaped that one, so fuck them. You know what I'm talking about? Fucking your life up with that Reggie, need some loud like pack. Even out the low, homie, she's a loud pack. Got to buy the mini trees, she's a loud pack. What's happening? What's happening? Welcome to another episode of Drug Dealer Confessions, you dig? Now, shout out to the homeboy Talent Hustle for putting together the web series, BCE, Blood Scripts and Essays. Season 2 is heating up, homie. It's heating up. Now, if you're new, subscribe, homie. You know what I'm talking about? Subscribe, hit that bell, comment, like, tell me what you're talking about. You dig what I'm talking about? Now, this episode... It's about some crooked ass cops, you did? Let me make sure I'm right. Got a bunch of stories like this. Got a whole bunch. Got a whole bunch of stories like this. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> okay, anyway, anyway, this story, I happen to be locked up for something that I didn't do. The police knew they, that I didn't do it. I'm gonna tell that in another vlog because it's its own story. It's crazy and it's stupid. Anyway, this story's stupid too. Anyway, I come into the motherfucker. They know they did me dirty. They know they're doing me dirty. They handcuffed me on my ankles. They handcuffed me behind my back. You dig? And then they put a taser to me. You dig? While I was on my knees on a metal bench. You dig? I was on my knees on a metal bench and they put a taser to me. You dig? So they tased me. I'm like, why you tased me, bro? I didn't even say that, but I'm just like, I'm like, I'm like, what? These niggas gonna tase me while I'm all like, Hemmed up like a like a piece of cattle. You dig what I'm talking about? To me, that's a regular thing with police where I was from at that time. You dig? So I didn't think much into it, but I ended up getting to my cell. Earlier that day, that dude said some smart out like he shit to some other dude and shit. And, he, and dude said, fuck you, nigga. And they wrapped that nigga up, threw that nigga in the hole, did whatever they did to that nigga. And he was like, yeah, we know what to do with guys like that. And I was like, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? You wrap their ankles up and you put their hands behind their back and you tase them and shit. You know what I mean? That's how you did it. You know what I'm saying? To me. You know what I mean? <laughs> and dude didn't like that. So then they try to set me up in my cell. You dig what I'm talking about? They got these things called a shakedown. You dig? Now a shakedown, for you who don't know, is when the correctional officers come running in to the pod, you dig? And they go through your shit and they tear up everything like like, like, a, like mommy dearest, you know, like angry mother because you didn't use wire hangers. You dig what I'm talking about? They go through, tear up your shit, you dig? And that's what they do. Looking for, supposedly looking for, you know, contraband, looking for whatever they looking for. I seen that happen, you dig? So I knew what that was about. You know what I'm saying? I knew what a shakedown was. So one day they come running up in the cells on a shakedown. I'm like, they shaking us down. Okay, here's another one. You know what I'm talking about? I'm watching TV up with the rest of the niggas, watching them go through my cell, you dig? They, you know, doing what they do. They leave. I go back up in my cell. Everything's neat. Everything's just like I left it. You dig? Everything looked like Better Homes and Gardening Jail Cells magazine type shit. You dig what I'm talking about? Like it was neat. You dig what I'm talking about? You dig what I'm talking about? I'm like, what the fuck? My shit neat, huh? Hmm. I started looking around, nigga. I'm like, something wrong, nigga. I get a feeling in my gut, nigga. I'm in there by myself, nigga. I ain't even have no celly at this point. So I was by myself. I said, oh, something wrong, nigga. I started looking around. I look, nigga, and this nigga, this, this under my pillow, okay, let me tell you this, in the jail, these niggas had these little paper clips, you dig, would, wrapped around with tissue paper, they would stick it in the outlet, and it would light on fire, and they could go light whatever they had, their little tobacco, their little weed, or whatever they had in their little jail cell, you dig what I'm talking about, so, that was contraband though. If you get caught with that, that's a whole nother case. You dig what I'm talking about though to you. That's a, you, you, see, you feel what I'm saying to you. If, if, if you get caught with that, that's a whole nother case. You feel me? So I go, I pull up under my, 
I look up under my pillow, I see one of those paper clips with the paper towel around it. I'm like, what are you doing, nigga? I don't even have one of these, nigga. I just got here, nigga. I didn't even get involved with being blazing nothing with nobody, nigga. I'm playing dominoes for push-ups, nigga. I'm playing spades for push-ups. That's what I'm doing, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't doing none of that. I'm playing chess for push-ups, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't even been there long enough to get a commissary. These niggas talking like, I, I, I'm in there with the little flint. I flushed that shit down the toilet. I didn't know what to do. I was like, that's crazy. This nigga's trying to set me up. I thought to myself, these niggas trying to set me up. I put that shit in the toilet. I tried to see if there's anything else. I couldn't find nothing else. I go back down to the pod. I start watching TV with the rest of the niggas. Next thing you know, them motherfuckers rush in. They come rushing in. Just the same way they did 10 minutes earlier. Rock, 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 rock. Run up the steps. Right up to my little cell. Straight to my cell. Come straight to my cell. Came straight to my cell, nigga. And didn't find shit. Next, this time they tow shit up, nigga. This time they tow shit the motherfuck up, nigga. They, I mean, they tow shit the fuck up, nigga. You dig what I'm talking about? Looking for that little shit. I flushed it down the toilet, nigga. Them niggas, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> Try to plant that shit on me, nigga. I'm like, nigga, fuck you, nigga. I flushed that shit down the toilet. They couldn't find that shit. They they, they, they left eventually. Nigga, I went back up with my shit. My shit was towed up this time. It looked like a real shakedown. I was like, yeah, nigga, you couldn't find that shit, nigga. Crooked ass motherfucker. Try to set me up, nigga. You dig what I'm talking about? And I was there on some shit that they know I ain't even do. You dig what I'm talking about? That's how dirty the game get, you dig? And that's when I realized the world is crooked than a motherfucker. But you do gotta keep your faith, man, cause shit'll work out. I might sound crazy right now, but that shit is a beautiful blessing. I looked at that shit and shit didn't feel right. You gotta go with your gut. You dig what I'm talking about? You got shit and they try to set me up. You know what I mean? But I escaped that one, so fuck them. You know what I'm talking about? Until then, my niggas, check out the web series, Blood Scripts and SA. You know what I'm talking about? So hit that subscribe, hit that bell. Nigga, like, subscribe, holla at me, man. You know what I mean? Am I tripping? Is that divine intervention, nigga? Anyway, holla at me, man. We up out this motherfucker. Fucking your life up with that bitch. You need some loud back. Even at the low, homie, she's a loud back. That's about a minute.